Seashan and uh, I'm back after a short break from doing columns since I've been focusing on doing the final part of my third solo album entitled After. Uh, this guitar feels a bit light these days because uh, my, my new album is basically all 8 string. It's been a very uh, cool experience and very inspiring to do with a new instrument like that. And um, yeah, it's uh, coming out in the end of January, beginning of February, so check it out. So to start off this lesson, I thought I'd go over some of the more basic black metal riffs from the early Emperor catalogue. I've been on the subject in previous columns, but now that we have the video feature as well, it's easier to show. And um, I think it's an important part from, or lesson from the genre. And it's very simple riffs, but uh, it's it's all in the execution in a way, and uh, how you kind of focus in on on certain notes while others other strings and notes are are ringing with it. And um, the first example is from a song called "The Burning Shadows of Silence," and it's a very simple three minor bar chords in uh, B minor, A sharp minor, and G minor, and uh, yeah, it goes like this. is to do the picking pa pattern upwards kind of focusing in on the on the higher higher note strings and um, uh, especially focusing in on the minor third and also the upper upper fifth here uh, these notes are also emphasized in the range and the, with the A choirs going and um, when you start start picking on the three lower uh, lower strings, and then you kind of gradually just move the picking pattern upwards, but never mind, you know, if you if you what, what kind of strings you hit, you just focus the energy towards the towards the minor third like this. Still keeping the the the, the whole bar chord ringing instead of. Quite similar things, but it, ma it makes a difference. Next up is a riff from a song called With Strength I Burn. It's the opening riff. Similar thing, uh, and it goes like this. Here, the opening chord, E minor, held ringing. Strumming up and down like that. And just letting the low, the upper strings just ring with it. And starting on this F, um, F sharp. Kind of slowly just forming the, this diminished chord. But kind of let, letting the other strings uh, just ring with it. It's kind of chaotic, but it, uh, it makes sense in context. Instead of doesn't not quite the same, so it's, uh, keep it chaotic. This last example is from uh, *Lost and Curse of Reverence*, and uh, it's also a very simple riff. Basically, two chords. It's uh, C minor with the major seven and uh, an F sharp in octave. And it goes like this.
there's a slight uh, variation on the uh, on the the other guitar. Uh, it's mostly in unison, but at the, at the end it goes. And uh, most of the clue here is to to keep the 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 notes of the C minor chord, and you start picking on one one string at a time, but keeping keeping them ringing. That's it. See you next time.